the uh, next um, uh, early precursor is Abba Lerner, who developed what he called the functional finance approach. And he counterposed this to the sound finance approach. The sound finance approach basically sees the government budget as being similar to a household budget. And this is you know, widely uh, accepted. You hear politicians all the time saying, if I ran my household the way that Uncle Sam runs his budget, I would go broke, which is true. Okay? Households cannot continually deficit spend. Okay? They will go bankrupt. Um, I will learn is that, but this doesn't apply to a sovereign government that issues its own currency. It cannot go bankrupt. And in fact, it should not run its budget the way a household runs its budget because its interest is the public interest. Okay? And balancing the budget, the government budget, has no obvious public purpose to it. Okay? The, the government can and should um, run its budget differently. Okay? And this is what he means by it should be a functional finance approach. Try to pursue the public interest. Well, what's the public interest? I've learned said that the two uh, most important things the government can do is to pursue full employment and relative price stability. Okay? And what that means is that you use the budget in order to achieve full employment. If there's unemployment, either taxes are too high or spending is too low. So you need to adjust those. You need to increase spending um, and reduce taxes in order to move the economy to full employment. Of course, if spending is too high and taxes are too low, you go beyond full employment, you get inflation. So the solution to that is to uh, reduce spending and raise taxes. So this is functional finance. That is his fiscal policy recommendation. His monetary policy recommendation is that if the public has too much money, then the government ought to supply more bonds. If the public doesn't have enough money, the government ought to supply fewer bonds. You see that this is very similar to what I was arguing before. The purpose of bond sales is to drain excess reserves out of the banking system. Okay? The purpose of bond purchases is to put reserves into the banking system. So this is exactly what Abel Lerner was recommending for monetary policy. In other words, you want to hit an interest rate target and you make sure that the banking system has the right amount of reserves.